So a question that came up is how can you start the full version of Cinema 4D instead of Cinema 4D Lite uh, whenever you import a new Cinema 4D file into After Effects or you create a new file. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. I'm just going to right click and import a Cinema 4D file. I'm just going to drag this layer into my timeline. So we get the Cineware panel. And uh, basically it's very simple. You just simply click on options up here and it basically asks us the Cinema 4D render path for rendering and the path for edit original. So both of these paths, we want it to be uh, the full version of Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to change these paths. Right now it's pointing to the Cinema 4D light path, which is in the After Effects folder. So I'm just going to click browse and I'm going to find my full installation. Max on Cinema 4D and this should be it here. And I'm going to do the same again here. Uh, Cinema 4D, okay. Hopefully this should work. Must restart After Effects for this change to take effect. And purge all memory in disk cache. Alright, okay. So I'm just going to save this project. I've been working on. Close After Effects. Uh, restart it. Okay, I'm just going to go to edit purge all memory and disk cache, 9 gigabytes, all right. And I'm going to reopen my project file. So if I now edit original, hopefully it should open up the full version of Cinema 4D. Yep, Studio 16. I'm just going to resize this. And this is the full uh, version of Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D Lite does not have more text, which is uh, pretty much what you want when you're working with Cinema 4D is you want access to the text object. So we have everything here. We've got most blinds and uh, pretty much everything. And that's the scene file. So that's the end of this tutorial. Please share this and thanks for watching.